All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Alex Parker Road of the Show, Season Twenty Two, PS Five, Episode One Eighty Seven. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy, a little sick, um, but it is fine because I feel fine. Uh, and we are tied in the ALCS. We won the first game seven to three, and then we got shut out in the second one by Chance Davis, um, which really sucked. But we're heading to Oakland um, with a good pitching advantage here. Um, on game three, we need to win game three. Uh, if we can take two out of the three of these, I'll feel all right. If we give up two out of the three, we come back to game six um, with Chance Davis on the mound against us. Uh, but if we take three, uh, I, I, I feel like we just win this thing in seven. That's uh, the case for us, and if they're going to win it, they're going to win it in six. That's just how... I look at it, um, but we have the pitching matchup today. It's Giolito versus James Caprillion. Let's get into this. There's Juan Soto. Hello. Alex has been so, so good so far in this series and in this uh, entire playoffs. We got to get out here and get a win here today. Let's do this. We need Gio to show up today as well. He has struggled some. But we also have to show up to hit Caprillion. We can hit him. Ready to get underway. All right, let's and do this. In this one, James we lead off here today. Wow, we're hitting 467. Hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Alex Parker in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Got a good piece. It's down. It's fair. Alex has a double down the left field line. That's a hit. You don't see that often from him, but he comes through here on the second pitch with a lead off double, and it'll be Taryn Favre here in the two hole. Trout and Meadows await. And I'm really interested to see what did they talk about in that hitters meeting that's going to translate into the game. That ball is very weakly hit. Harold Ramirez is there, one down. And there's one down. Not what we need. So digging in, Mike Trout, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also Please get a hit. Next pitch misses, two and two. Mike Trout, just a special player, a special human, does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. He struck him out. Lead off double is in jeopardy of being spoiled. The next to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Two one pitch is in there and the count is even. I think with Mike Trout, when you consider all the awards, the wins above replacement, he's on a trajectory if he stays healthy that he'll end up as one of the greatest position players of all time. Caprillion started this inning with a leadoff double, and since then has really settled in. He's got Meadows 3-2. He walked him. It'll be Brian Anderson with two on, two down. Strike two. Come on, Brian. Just a knock here. And here it comes. That's a fly out. A failed first inning for the Angels. We put two on. Nobody's going to come home. And they also lead off with a double. Hit hard on the ground. Right at Alex. One down. One gone bottom half of the first. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. So the batting order turns over. Luckily we don't give up a run, so it is still zeros. One down here in the third. Top of the third, no score. Let's get the bats going, guys. 
and it's one and one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, Good pitch. That slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. And he Great changeup. All right. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Next pitch. Side inside. two two. It's two and two. Come on. One down. Base is empty. Three, inside two, again. A walk would be all right. Of course, Alex so good at taking bags. And MLB did not want to give me contact, which always sucks, but it's whatever. One down here, same spot here in the fifth. Ball. We're one for two. Righty delivers. Two up. Got to be real careful here. Two zero. He's hunting for his pitch. Three oh, we're taking on the way here. We'll try to take a bag, hope for a base knock to score us. Great changeup, not ours anyway. All right. Three one, looking for ours. He missed outside, so ball four. Alex is going to take his base. Favre doubled in. The fifth or the third. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. He popped it up, dude. Come on, Taron. Puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. All right, Trout. Two down. Oh, thanks for giving me no time. Trout got a good piece. It's deep left center field. Wall, it's going to bounce off the very top of the wall, but the Angels are going to take a one nothing lead. Trout's going home. What in the world? Why are you doing that? Either way, it's an RBI triple for Mike Trout. And the Angels take a lead. That's what I'm talking about, Mike Trout. Shot it on the ground at Alex again, and Harold will be retired again. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the two outs. Gio has looked good. He faces the cleanup here, two down, one on. Weekly hit. This is such a tough play. Alex plays it flat footed. God, and by like a quarter of a step. Oh, man. And now we lead 2 nothing, and the bases are juiced. Brent Honeywell Jr. is the pitcher. We've got pretty good speed on. It's outside. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach. That ball smoked right left. Good play. We will not tack on anymore. We do have a 2 nothing lead. And it's still 2 nothing. We lead off the ninth here. And that one's timed pretty well, but that is just going to be popped out. One for four day for Parker. And we'll bring in Clay Holmes with a two-run lead. Ball game. Let's go, baby. A shutout. No, Giolito throws a complete game shutout. And that's what we need out of an ace. Especially on a day when our offense was not really working. We needed Gio and he came through. Oh man, alright, let's go game four here. We've got one more game for you on the episode. Game five will probably have its own episode, especially if we win this today. It'll be Jaime Berea, who threw a gem in the first one, uh, versus Oakland, or, sorry, Toronto, versus Michael Kopech uh, and the Oakland Athletics. Let's do this. Let's wear the 01 Rhodes. <sighs> All right. Parker and Trout are doing their best to continue to carry this team. 
Oakland, California, the Bay Area. And we have game four of this series. Michael Kopech versus Jaime Barrio. We lead off. Let's do this. We got to get out in front of the ball a little bit more. He's only able to complete four innings, but really battle. Didn't have his best stuff. I look for him to be better in this one. The wind of the pitch. And there's a ball. Quickly 2-0. There's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Left field. I should not have swung the bat. That was a beautiful pitch. We're over one. Harold Ramirez. Once again, a quick base runner for the A's. Harold can run, but we have a chance to turn two. Uh, this one doesn't look likely. We got the one. And now we'll see Juan Soto. Juan Soto. One down here. Oh, that is through. No. They fired in quickly. One down and two on. Come on, Jaime. We're right back in. All right, Chap can run well too. Here comes a pitch. Roll to short. That ball's hit hard though. That's one. Favre to first. It's easily a double play. And we help out our boy Jaime Berea here this inning, and we are tied at one. Diego Nee, one for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. Going two here. All right, we are tied at one, heading into the third. Let's do this. So the batting order turns one over. down. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Alex Parker. He's turned into one of the best. Let's find ours. Get a good hit here. First offering. One this out. is the mark. Tied up here in the early going. That's uh, way upstairs. upstairs. Two zero. It's a good miss. Come on now. Same spot here. We're not going to chase. I say that, and then we foul one off. It was a strike, though. All right, two one. The wind of the pitch. We are not swinging much, or er, we're swinging a ton at Kopech. Twenty-one pitches so far today. All four there, though. Let's go. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So up next. All right, Taryn Vavra, who scored for us and who scored for them? Brian Anderson hit a solo shot, and then Armenteros scored. Senzel knocked him in. This one lifted. He popped it out. Two down. Ramirez makes the play out. That ball's thrown away. Out here in the Coliseum, Parker's going to go all the way to third. First to third on an E7. Here's Mike Trout. We bring up Trout here, a hit away from taking the lead. Fouls one off. Two and two. Fouled off. Way early on 98. At third with two away. He got a piece again. Back. Throw it in the dirt. Well, I'm going home if you do. They don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage. With My him. trout foul ball. Ugh. Would have loved it. Packed Coliseum here. To the play. And now it's ball good. three. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of three, two to stage. Trout, two down. He oh, roped it. It's going to be caught, unfortunately. And that'll do it. <sighs> so he can't capitalize on the air. Bria looks good here in the third, though. And we. Oh, this is tough. Good play, Alex. That'll end the third. Here's Lazaro Armenteros. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Two one. Hit on the ground. Armenteros can run, but Parker's gonna make the play. Two down. 
And there's two away. So the lineup flips over. So in now for the Angels. Alex. All right, we walked in our last one. We've got one on, one down. That's well outside. One out. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Kicks and fires. That ball smoked. Hey, it's off his glove, but it's going to be an infield single for Alex. Alfaro does get a second. And we've got two on, one down now. Come on, Taron. Upstairs, 3 2. If you're that base runner, second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release. All right, fouls it off. 3 2 again. We got to come through at one point with these. Favre has been a terrible guy to have in the two hole. The three two is he walked him though. Let's go, Taron. And now Trout, we just need a sack fly, base knock. Just don't run into a double play. Don't strike out. Oh gosh, don't strike out, please. Number seventy-two from Kopech on the way. And he struck him out. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, come on, Meadows. Now we gotta have a hit. And it's one, two. We don't want to swing the bat. Mason Miller appears to be getting loose. Honeywell getting cranked up as well. One and two here. Meadows. Hit it hard. Soto's giving chase. It's gone. Grand slam. Angels. It's five to one. Let's go. And that's how they take the lead. It's five one. Austin Meadows proves me wrong and hits a huge grand slam here to give us a four-run lead and absolutely ruins Kopech's good start. A turning point in the series. And Bria has himself a cushion, and he's going to be out of the fifth. Four innings left, up four. Gets it to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. And one... All righty. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. And, and we're hit away from getting Alex run number Parker. six. First pitch just misses. Alfaro, the runner at second with one away. This one uh, it's low. Me. It's getting to the backstop. Alfaro moves up, and it's a fly ball away. Or even just a ground ball up the middle or to short or second. We'll see. Parker drove deep right field. Soto's there. It's going to be caught, but it is a sack fly. Six to one. Good job, Alex. Jaime Berea has been a beast in the playoffs. And he's going to continue to be one. That's six innings of one run ball. Yes, sir. Some trouble here with the nine hole. Max Muncy up two on, nobody out. He chops it. We're going here. Go one. All right, we get lead. Should have tried to turn two, I think. Oh, man. Definitely should have. Six to four is your score now. Glad we got that sack fly. Right-handed reliever. Swing and that ball is rope, but Senzel so good in the field. Of course, everybody is in this game. Makes the play, but the Angels take home game four, six to four. Let's go, baby. 
couple of key moments just really made the difference. Not much separates these two teams. And this one ends with a final Huge score. day for Jaime Berea. Austin Meadows needed one swing of the bat. Anderson a solo shot. Parker with an RBI sack fly. Sinzel had himself a really good game, but it wasn't enough. Kittredge saves it for us as the Angels take a victory here. Uh, in game four and episode 187 is a very successful one and we lead 3-1 of course 3 <laughs> one's a little scary 3-1 is a little bit scary uh for anybody in atlanta as the braves blew that one time uh but out in the nl the dodgers lead 3-2 um yeah so they led 3-1, and then Braves took they took an important one if they want to win. Well, obviously, they got to take the rest of them. But they took the last one in Dodger Stadium with a huge game from Freed. They go into their last two at home. We've taken both of them in Oakland. We are a win away. We've got to win one out of the next three, and we still are not set to face Chance Davis in game five. We could take it in Oakland in five. That would be best case. Is it going to happen? I don't know. We'll see. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That is Alex Parker, episode 187 in the books.